Arlington's first ever Juneteenth celebration brought gospel music, dance, community, and love to City Hall Park. For Burlington and the city and the, the whole state actually to decide that in every community they're going to celebrate this holiday this year is, you know, it's, 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 to be honest, it's overwhelming in a way. It was a nice feeling, a welcoming feeling to see Juneteenth turn up so hard. Hundreds of people hung out at City Hall Park all afternoon to commemorate Juneteenth also known as Freedom Day or Emancipation Day. On June 19, 1865, the last of the nation's enslaved people learned of their freedom. Nearly two years after President Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation. I could just imagine the jubilation of coming out of slavery and finding out a document has been signed to say you are free. Oh my God. Juneteenth, which was declared a federal holiday this week, has long been left out of history books, leaving many Americans, including black people and descendants of slaves, unaware. I hate to admit it, but I really didn't know much about Juneteenth until the last few years, and so it's just nice just to know our history and just be able to experience this. I didn't know what Juneteenth was, actually, even as a black person in America, until college. So for me, being able to come back to Burlington and celebrate Juneteenth this big with all these people, I, it's incredible. Black Vermonters say now that people know what Juneteenth is, they hope they'll further educate themselves on the legacy and impact of slavery on descendants of slaves. Can they support the rest of the fight? Can ending the, 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 the school to prison pipeline, ending economic disparities, helping us uh, have that conversation around reparations. And Burlington's Juneteenth celebration will end with a dance party right here at City Hall Park from 9 to 11 o'clock tonight. Reporting in Burlington and wishing you all a very happy Juneteenth, I'm Erin Brown for Channel 3 News.